you guys, Sean C. Phillips here with my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Taking a go out today for things to come out today, see things are on sale. Now today though, new release wise, there's actually quite a few things coming out today. One of the really, really big things coming out today is Black Widow. And with that one, I know there's going to be a number of different retail exclusive versions of that. Now hopefully when we go out there, out, I can, I can find them and everything and the stores have put them out or they haven't sold out because I feel like these will probably go quick. I know for sure uh, Target has some kind of an exclusive. I don't know if it's like a digi book. I, I'm not 100% sure and they're exclusive and with Walmart they don't usually have exclusives sometimes they do and then at um at Best Buy I know they have the Best Buy exclusive steelbook version of the movie uh that you know, releases today and that's the one I feel like is probably going to go pretty quick also though a uh, family um uh, boss baby family business you know the sequel to boss baby that releases today also the one I think it's like out of death the one that I showed last Tuesday they didn't have out the Bruce Willis one uh that one should be out today uh as well that way I saw it um Best Buy last Tuesday, and they had it out on, sh on the shelf by mistake, but then it wouldn't ring up because it was out by mistake. So we'll see if that one is actually on the shelf in Best Buy today. And, you know, because sometimes, like, if that happens, I think that happened once before. Then when I went the following week to get it, it wasn't there. So we'll see. So fingers crossed, hopefully, that it is out there today. There's also a uh, Bella Thornwood that's coming out today, I think, called Masquerade. I think that's what it is. But I was looking on, like, um, Best Buy and on uh, Amazon, and it was showing as, like, sold out, like, not even available at all to buy or anything. So I don't know if something happened with that release or was there something weird going on today with it and maybe the data is going to change on that but we'll see that's another one that I'm looking for because I feel like they might have it at Walmart but uh, you know other than that though at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD Blu-ray and 4k reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys and as always too let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the DVDs Blu-rays and 4ks that I reviewed if you guys have seen them what you guys thought of them and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up but anyway though guys let's get going and see what we can find today into Target we go and the one thing I've noticed though with Black Widow though is that the standard Blu-ray and these glasses are real like like squiggled up now but it's like oh well but you know I've noticed that the standard Blu-rays of Black Widow I believe are in like red cases and I think like a handful of the Disney ones coming up I think I saw are going to be in red uh, in red Blu-ray cases I'm not sure about that but from what I can tell I believe I don't think the red ones are like exclusive to to Walmart or something like that that's what I'm not sure about like I said I've seen some pictures of that but we'll see though and like I said I'm not 100% sure on what exclusive they're going to have in Target today so we shall see so hopefully this, they're out though we'll see though and I definitely feel like today's the day they would have like a standee out for the movie I don't know though but like right here in the front though it's not a good sign because like it's not here in the front like I feel like Black Widow is like the example example of like a movie that like no matter what would be in the front it's like one of those really big uh, releases but no it's not here so they might have just not switched it out yet because I'm a little bit earlier today it's like 12 30 12 40 I believe right now and sometimes I get here a little bit later so they, like I said, they might not have put it out. I might be going to another Target as well because I'm going to go to one other Walmart area and there's another Target out there. So worst case, I can go out there. But we'll go and see if in the actual section, though, has the stuff out or they have like a standee or something. That's what I'm wondering is if there's going to be like a stand or something back here for it. But over here, though, they actually have everything out here. So there's a, and here's the exclusive one for Black Widow. It has in here like a filmmaker book. It's a limited edition filmmaker book. It's $34.99 for this one. So it's in here. It's like, yeah, so here's like the book in here kind of like this. So it sort of opens up like that. And then the standard um, 4K of it is uh, $24, sorry, $29.99 for the standard 4K. And they all have different covers a little bit. But like I was saying, here's this red case. So I think it's really cool. They're putting these in these red cases like this for the standard one. They don't have the slip covers, uh, but still. Still, it's very cool and that one's $24.99 for the standard uh, blu-ray and then for boss baby family business I didn't even know they were gonna have an exclusive they have a, a exclusive one here which has a 40 page filmmaker gallery book as well for that one so that's really cool that one's $26.99 for the exclusive and then the standard one is $24.99 for the standard um, blu-ray and then $19.99 for the DVD of boss baby family business and then the uh, black widow DVD is $19.99 um, and then let's see uh, the boss baby 4k is $29.99 here they also have this like two movie collection of boss baby for 20 uh, for $32.99 which includes both of the films here uh, as well as the digital copies uh, Mar of Easttown uh, that one released today as well and that one's $19.99 uh, one of the other ones today was Zola uh, and that one is a $16.99 for that one and this one came out was we talking about the end which I really like this uh, a Scooby Doo meets Curls the Cali dog this is one I would highly recommend this is really really fun fun movie uh, like that 
that one is uh, $14.99. But I think when it comes to these exclusive, I mean, these all these editions, I'm not really worried. I have like a digital code for the 4K, and I think I'm just going to get the um, the one in the red case, the, the $24.99 one of this one. Because the exclusive one, I like the cover on it, but I'm not, I don't usually get all these exclusives. And like I said, I'm not that worried about the 4K one. I really like the red case for this particular one. So I think, like I said, I think I'm going to get this particular one uh, for that one. Other than that, though, I don't see anything else uh, different here today, though, as far as I can tell. Yeah, so like I was saying, I got the um, the Black Widow one, the Blu-ray, the standard Blu-ray in the red case, and I'm pretty sure the red case is everywhere, which I think is really cool that, you know, that they're in these uh, red cases for this. And I think Corella might be in the red case as well. That's one of the ones, too. Like, like I said, both of these ones I have not seen. I've not seen Corella, which I think is next week or the following week. I've not seen Black Widow yet. There's so many things that I have not seen. It's crazy. Now, it's just, it really is. Um, but now we're going to head over to, um, to Walmart, though. And, you know, this one, though, I'm not expecting this location to have really anything out this one's always kind of like not the greatest I'm still going I'm gonna go to um, uh, probably one or two other ones anyway today uh, and the other one last week I went to kind of had like everything out so that one did like hopefully is gonna be like the new location that does a good job stocking and having the things on the shelves like I said this one over here never really that great but we'll see maybe today it'll be like a big surprise and everything will be out I highly doubt it but like if Black Widow isn't out in there today then you know that location truly has nothing together you know if they don't have a movie like this out which is like one of the biggest releases in a really 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 long time so we'll see though you know we'll see if they do fingers crossed you know for, for, for that stores I guess like dignity of stocking the movies but we'll, we'll see into Walmart we go all right so we're gonna walk back live I have not peeked yet I promise I've not peeked so we can go back and see if there's like any disappointing you know disappointments live and I'm, I'll wait a minute I'm seeing a few random you know just a couple just a few they, they didn't not all of them made it out but a few black widows decided to make their way out you know, they, none of the boss babies, they're not worried about those. They, they didn't come out, uh, but these a few of them did, none of the 4Ks. So um, it doesn't, like I said, I don't see a spot here for a different price for um, Black Widow. So I guess they don't have anything exclusive wise. It's funny they're playing Unsolved Mysteries over there. But like, um, and that, don't, that should always creep me out in such a bad way, I can't even explain the narration and stuff. It's like really, I don't even watch that show, it creeps me out so much. So, some of that music and everything in it. But like, uh, other than, than you know, than, than that there the black widow i don't see anything else changed out here i see like i said to see the spots for it and everything like boss baby the dvd is going to be uh, uh 1796 for the dvd uh 2296 for the blu-ray the 4k is uh 2796 and then the 4k of black widow is 29.99 in here so it seems like it's the same prices on the blu-ray 4k and dvd and everything in here for those ones but they still don't have any of the um justice leagues out Let's see though, over here though, yeah, I, see this is the, one of the ones I wanted to get this out of death, the Bruce Willis one. This is the one that they had out last time, you know, in, um, in the um, Best Buy had it on the shelf. So hopefully this Best Buy will have it out. Uh, today and there are a couple other things up here these I think I showed all these ones last Tuesday I don't see anything else mixed in over here something about Robert Stack's like narration and stuff too just always creep me out so, like I, I can't even put into to words as a kid how much that show freaked me out <laughs> it just really did but no, other than that, though, I don't see anything else different. We are going to go to some other, you know, um, Walmarts, though. So we'll see, you know, what they have, you know, out at those ones. And hopefully they have all the stuff out there, though. Into the second Walmart we go. But yeah, though, in here today, though, there's absolutely nothing put out. It's all the same stuff from the past, you know, couple weeks. Zack Snyder's, you know, um, you know, Justice League is out, but none of the um, the new stuff, and no, you know, um, Black Widow or anything. They have all these that I showed uh, last week. The new, like, glow. I think I don't know if they're people are saying they're glow in the dark. I guess it doesn't. I think they are. It doesn't say on the front of these new ones, but I get, I think they do glow, glow in the dark. But you know, but yeah, nothing at all uh, changed out whatsoever. So we're gonna go to one other Walmart. So hopefully that one will have out all the stuff though. But we shall see. 
into the third Walmart we go. Well, luckily enough, it looks like they've got the stuff out here. I even see like the standee here for Black Widow and they have all the stuff on. Like I said, this location has been doing better with stocking the stuff. I don't know if they're going to have the Bruce Willis movie, but let's see. Um, so the Black Widow, like I said, the, the, the standard 4K is $29.96 and $24.96 for the Blu-ray, $19.96 for the DVD. And they do have a Boss Baby exclusive here as well and includes like a... Um, 63 piece movie puzzle in here also includes a new short i don't think the short is exclusive to this one but i think that's exclusive to the walmart one here and that's 24.99 for their exclusive version then 22.96 for the standard blu-ray 17.96 for the dvd uh, 27.96 for the 4k and they have the double feature one here as well uh for 29.96 let's see i'm just trying to make sure there's not anything else over here let's see over here on the side uh, all this stuff is older stuff in the past few weeks. Gateway was last week. Let's see. I do see over here uh, Catch the Bullet. That was one of the other ones that came out today, and that's $14.96 for the Blu ray, uh, $12.96 for the DVD. Uh, they have Zola here as well, $12.96 for the DVD of that one. Oh, they do have the Masquerade one. Like I said, this one was, it's weird. I can't find this one online for the Blu ray or anything like that. And it was like on Amazon and stuff like that. So I might get this for $12. Uh, 96. I, like I said, I believe there is going to technically be a Blu-ray. I'm not sure if this is one of those ones where I'm like worried about if I have it on Blu-ray or not uh, for this particular one. Let's see though um, if they have the Bruce Willis one. I, like I said, I'm, I'm thinking that will be in Best Buy, but it, like I said, it was out last Tuesday and they couldn't sell them. So I'm hope I'm hoping they didn't like put it in the back and then now they won't find it again because that happened once before. But other than that though, I'm not seeing anything else different. I'm not seeing a spot for the Bruce Willis one. I don't know where it would have been. Probably somewhere in the front because the other Walmart had a space for it. There was just It was just empty though. But other than, like I said, other than these ones, not seeing anything different. But at least this Walmart though, at least finally things are like looking a little better with Walmart because it was just like really disheartening honestly like every Tuesday going out and like having like no luck at all and it was just like oh. So at least now we're finally starting to see some of the stuff here and there's a, they even have the uh, chucky collection here is this the blu-ray or the dvd one i guess i can't tell if it's the, or the dvd one but with the slip covers that's kind of cool as well that you never really see um one of these slip covers on a big huge set like that so that's pretty cool uh as well i'm just like making sure one last time that i'm not like overlooking it and the bruce willis one is just like here or on the bottom because sometimes like after i look back or you guys say in the comments like it was right there you just looked right over it and passed right over it and I've definitely done that before, so I always have to really check just to make sure I'm not doing that again or anything like that. But no, other than these ones, it seems to be the main stuff. Let's see, was there even a spot maybe? Maybe it was down there? No, I don't even see one for it. Like I said, we'll go though to, um, you know, to uh, Walmart, I mean to the um, uh, Best Buy though and see. But they, even, oh yeah, they do have a standee for um, Black Widow as well, so let's see. Yeah, so that's really cool. So they have a standee for this one here, too. Yeah, so in there, though, I ended up getting, like I said, that masquerade one. I also got a ton of those bottled, like, Starbucks caramel macchiato uh, coffee things, which are, like, impossible to find. Somehow, they've, like, appeared again. They've been gone for months, but my brother loves those. So I, like, bought a ton of them in here because I got some uh, last week. And I thought, oh, they must just be out everywhere again. But nope, this is like the only one that had them. But like I said, that Masquerade one, it's weird. Like on Amazon and everything, you look it up and it's like Blu-ray not available, DVD not available. And it's like not on a lot of sites. So I don't know what's going on with it. But it was one I was definitely wanting to see. I pretty much have watched, I think pretty much every single Bella Thorne movie, at least in the last few years, like the newer ones and everything. So definitely was looking forward to seeing uh, that one though uh, but we'll see now though if the Bruce Willis one that was out last Tuesday is in um, Best Buy because I just have this strange feeling that because it was you know out like that and by mistake they probably put it in the back and now it might just be in the back forever hopefully that's not the case and now I'm kind of like wandering to the car and I'm like do I even remember where I parked the damn car <laughs> so I gotta figure that out now <laughs> Yes, but after that, though, we're going to head over to uh, Best Buy. Into Best Buy we go. So we're going to head back, and fingers crossed, hopefully that one is still 
out here and everything. I see a little standy here for Black Widow, and they actually have some of the um, the steelbooks here. These are definitely, I don't think this is the right price on this one, because it says Title Mate. That, oh, that's like the wrong thing on that. But, but yeah, so they actually have some of the, um, the steelbooks on here, the Black Widow steelbook. So it's a 4K Ultra steelbook. Very cool one here. I guess it's, it's, I think it's in the wrong spot. So I don't know exactly the exact price on that. I think it would be 35. I'll look in the spot though. Let's see over here though and see. Oh yeah, so let's see. There's actually a bunch of them over here. So so for the uh, Steelbook one, that is uh, $34.99. Uh, thir uh, and then it's uh, $29.99 for the 4K. Standard Blu-ray is $24.99. $19.99 for the DVD. Uh, and then Zola as well. That was one of the other ones today. Uh, and I'll be talking about this one uh, next Tuesday. That one was uh, $15.99 for that one. Let's see. Other than that, though, let's check. Let's see, too. You know, let's see about that Bruce Willis thing here. Like I said, I have a bad feeling about that one because that was right over here uh, last time. Uh, and you see more of the Black Widow. But it's it could be mixed in somewhere down here. But like any time that happens, like if a movie's put on the shelf uh, by mistake, I, it's always like a bad thing that can happen and then it can kind of get lost in the circuits of time in the back. And I, I think that might have happened. I, I had a feeling that might have happened. Unless it's like mixed in somewhere, I might go and ask them and see if they can find it or not because they definitely have it. Uh, but they do have a uh, Boss Baby here. It doesn't. I don't see an exclusive here for Boss Baby. Uh, this was one of the other things that came out today: the Shawshank Redemption on 4K, and there was a steelbook for that. That was uh, 31.99, but that looks like that sold out. But it's uh, 24.99 for the Boss Baby uh, Blu-ray, and then 29.99 uh, for the Boss Baby 4K. Other than that, though, like I said, I don't see anything else, and I don't see any spots for what. I, and that's not the Bruce Willis one I was talking about. It's the other one. But yeah, I don't even see the spot for it anymore. And I'm just trying to make sure I'm not overlooking it. But no, I unless it got like put up on here somewhere or something, but I don't think so. And I don't see any other random places it could be. So I'll probably have to ask them about it. Yeah, so luckily enough, they actually went in the back and ended up finding the um, the Out of Death uh, Blu-ray one in there. And it was the same woman that was last, you know, in there last Tuesday when I went to ring it up and then they couldn't get it. So she remembered the whole thing. So she luckily enough went in the back and got it. But I had I had this like strange sixth sense. Like anytime that happens, like if a movie's put out on a shelf by mistake, that kind of thing happens because it can get randomly like put in the back in a weird box or something like that. But um, and anyway, though, that's all for that is for the DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. And let me know in the comments below though what you guys picked up today and if you guys picked up Black Widow let me know you know what edition you guys got of that one also let me know anything new that you guys have watched on streaming or any new movies or TV shows like I said on streaming or anything that you guys have seen in theaters anything like that as well uh, and also too there's gonna be some cool um, unboxings in here as well two other unboxings right before the reviews so stay tuned for those as well but anyway though stay tuned now stay tuned for the brand new DVD and blu-ray reviews now before we get to the brand new DVD blu-ray and 4k reviews we have a couple uh, unboxings two different ones here uh, one of of them has to do uh, with uh, the Ninja Turtles and the other one has to do with the film uh, Malignant. I believe this is the Malignant one. So we'll go to the one for the Ninja Turtles uh, first and we'll go through uh, you know what's in the box. Like I said uh, there's two different mystery ones. So I have no idea. Like I said all I know is one's Malignant and one is the Turtles. Uh, this is the Turtles one here. So let's see. Uh, inside of here there's a thing in here that says like pizza oven fresh hot delicious thank you like a you know a pizza box. And then inside of the uh, pizza box, say here in the back, Brantford, Massachusetts. Let's see what's inside, though. Try not to get these like things everywhere. So it's like Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There is like a uh, some napkins inside of here, Ninja Turtles napkins. And then there is a T-shirt. Let's see what the T-shirt is. I know it was like artist stuff and stuff. From what I heard for the the turtle stuff, let's see. What size is this? Is this like a, a medium? So no, definitely I won't be squeezing in this one. Uh, but there's a t Turtles uh, t-shirt. Let's see uh, what the other stuff is in here. And like I said, I'm trying not to get these like doils all over the place because this would be a very big mess. Let's see. Uh, the other thing in here is there's a bag as well. Let's see. This is cool here. Like an artist, the artist, this is really cool here for the bag on here. And then inside, is like a is it a it's like a blanket like a pizza like I said, I'm just trying not to get this stuff all over the place move this down here on the ground let's see there's like a 
they have this all over the place. These like these little doilies are all over, getting everywhere. Let's see. Let's see. It's sort of like those popcorn things, but like like a little bit more strange to, ha to handle these things. And they are almost a little bit like in um uh, the bad seed. He like, slept on a bed of excelsior. And maybe maybe they're technically almost could be considered excelsior. Let's see. So here's the blanket. So this is like a a pepperoni pizza, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles blanket. So that's actually really cool. I really like that. So it's like a giant pepperoni pizza blanket for uh, Ninja Turtles. Or is it a blanket or is it a towel? No, it's a beach towel. So I get, yeah, yeah, so it's a beach towel. You could, I thought at first it was a blanket, but it's very, very cool though. I, I really, really like that. And then, like I said, the bag was in here. And then inside of here is a little uh, pop grip thing for your phone. Uh, and then it also has in here a special delivery share. It has on here like share the turtle power. Love these items. It has on here like um, you know hashtags. It has on here about the artist. Uh, Lily Stock is the artist behind these ones. So it has on here like uh, you know her um, Instagram. And then it has, you know, the other type of t-shirts and stuff like that, that you can buy, phone cases, uh, that kind of stuff here, you know, as well. And here's a, like, um, the QR code thing here uh, as well. But very cool. Like I said, really like this beach towel thing. Like I thought, like I said, at first I thought it was a uh, blanket, but no, I'm pretty sure it's a beach towel. And then the bag here, and then the t-shirt as well. So very cool stuff. But now we'll look into uh, the stuff from Malignant. And I did watch Malignant on HBO Max, and I asked absolutely loved it. I kind of got like, won't, won't lie, a little bit obsessed with some of the stuff in it. It was like, uh, it's one of those movies that's very hard to explain. And I went into it totally blind. I don't even think I saw the trailer before I watched it. And like, sometimes it's kind of nice to kind of go into something not knowing anything and like not having anything spoiled. And they really have been trying to not have this movie get spoiled, uh, you know, because of like something that happens in it. But I really, really liked it. And it's like I said, it's very hard to explain, but it's about this girl who, you know, you find find out like was in a hospital when she was younger and she starts sort of like sort of weird things start to happen to her and she starts seeing this kind of character and everything that was from her past it's like like I said you, can't, you don't want to say too much I'm just trying to get this thing out of here let's see here's like this and it's in like a evidence box oh yeah so this is like a, cr a police crime scene uh, evidence box here so see on the thing here so that's very cool so let's see, you know, what's inside of here. And it says, like, Simon uh, Research Hospitals, established 1907 uh, right here. And it says confidential. Every time I see these kind of research boxes, too, I think of not like Seven or a movie like that. I think of, like, the first thing is uh, Ace Ventura when he goes to the uh, mental hospital and is in there looking through the box. Like, <laughs> that's, like, the first thing I think of. And it's funny too that they even like the the the, the attention the detail to this is amazing because they like there's dust on it so it's like supposed to seem like an old dusty box so they actually put dust in here on I don't know if you can see it but that's I feel like something that lot not everyone's gonna notice that that they did that they dusted it up that's very cool uh, to add to the you know making it a little bit more dusty so let's see Simon Research Hospital it says who are you Gabriel in here because the one character's name was Gabriel in the movie. And it's, this is like stuff, you know, like the press stuff about the movie, you know, the facts about the film and uh, James Wan and like the cast and that kind of stuff as well. But this is really cool the way this is designed. And there's more of these, these doilies. So like, you gotta be careful again. And here's a cool duder, you know, uh, malignant balding hat. So they even have a malignant balding hat for me here. That's very cool as well. And it says in here, even has a tag in there that says malignant in there too. But yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I'm saying the name wrong. Right, malignant. I'm not saying maleficent or something. Let's see. There's a also. What is this? A sweat? Oh, this is a hoodie. That's cool. A um, malignant hoodie. Let's see if this is in a size that I could wear because that's actually yeah extra large. So yeah, that, that that's actually very cool. Malignant hoodie here. I really like that. So that's really cool. Let's see what else is in here. Here is a um, his name was Gabriel T-shirt. Another one. Let's see. Let's not hope it'll be a me. Yeah, extra large. So yeah. So these ones are all. That's good. That's really cool. And then there's also a confidential um, like book. Oh, so it's like done to look like a VHS, and it's like a confidential. V that's really cool. A VHS like notes book. That's really cool. And then the other thing in here, and I don't know. Oh, it's a 
Oh, it's a US, that's very cool. This is a Gabriel Sessions tape, but it is a USB um, a flash drive. So it opens up like this. That's, that is, that, these are the kind of things that I really love. These kind of promo items, these are the kind of things you used to get back in the day at Comic-Con. And back in the day, you would just go there and they would be on the table and you'd grab them. Nowadays, if you go to Comic-Con, it is a nightmare. Like this kind of thing at Comic-Con, you'd have to like, go almost like do a raffle to get it nowadays. The way that, that, that it's done now, uh, the system and everything. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I think that was all the stuff in here. Now everything else is just the doilies and then the, um, the paper and everything, but really, really cool stuff. Like I said, I always love these kind of promotional items to promote uh, films, and especially with th this movie. Uh, when I knew that there was this was coming, I was excited because, like, uh, at first I was really excited they were going to send it, but after I actually watched the movie and how much I liked it, I was, like, really, like, really excited. But this thing here, like I said, this is very, very cool, and I love this VHS uh, book because in the movie, too, there's a big thing with, like, the tapes of, like, the case studies and stuff like that, so it's a big thing in the film, but very, very cool. But now we're going to go to the reviews. But now under the reviews, and the first one here is one I wanted you guys to know was available. I showed this one last Tuesday, but I showed the standard Blu-ray edition. But this is the 4K Ultra HD edition here. Now keep in mind though, this one only includes the 4K version of the film. So if you guys don't have the 4K capacities though, like I said, it only has the 4K on here. But then the uh, Blu-ray, uh, the, the bonus disc, that is a Blu-ray on here. And this is the David Lynch film, uh, Dune. This is the brand new Arrow video release here of the film. Like I was saying, I showed the uh, Blu-ray version last Tuesday, but this is the 4k version and on here though this, like i said this has the brand new 4k restoration from the original camera negative it has in here too the this is the limited edition and it includes a 60 page um booklet in here featuring new writing on the film on here feature wise though it has a brand new commentary track on here by mike white of the projection booth podcast on here a impressions of doom uh 2003 documentary in the making of the film here a uh, dune fx a 2015 featurette exploring the special features of, of the film dune models and miniatures a 2005 featurette focusing on the model effects in the film, a 2005 documentary on the costumes on the film on here, theatrical trailers, TV spots. It also has the bonus disc on here. Like I said, the bonus disc is a Blu-ray, and that has Beyond Imagination, uh, the uh, merchandising Dune, which is a featurette on the merchandise of the film on here, as well as archival interviews on here, brand new interviews on here with the makeup effects artists on the film, uh, brand new interviews on here with some of the actors, uh, archival interviews on here as well. And I'll show you guys the look inside in here. And it also has a mini uh, poster for the film as well. And it's a double-sided one, so it has the original uh, poster artwork for the film here. And then it also, it's and it's done like the, the sort of sideways lobby card kind of poster. And then it also has the brand new poster, uh, brand new artwork poster here uh, as well for the film. And then also in here too, like I was saying, it has the booklet with some you know uh, stuff on the writing of the movie as well. I'm definitely interested in seeing though the um, the remake. Definitely interested in watching that one when that goes at, um, on HBO Max and everything. Uh, and then here's a look though inside at the 4K. It also has in here as well uh, lobby cards with you know that have like stills from the movie and stuff like that here um, as well. But I always thought this was a cool movie. You know, it stars Kyle MacLachlan. It was a very different movie for David Lynch. It was his most mainstream, uh, big budget movie. And like I said last time, you know, in the last uh, Tuesday when I was talking about this, I do wonder if he'll ever do like a huge, huge like Hollywood thing like this again. I don't. I feel like he never will go in that, down that route again. But you know, I, I always love his stuff. Uh, the next one here though is. From um, uh, Universal, and this is the uh, brand, the 4K Ultra HD edition here, which includes the 4K, the Blu-ray, as well as a digital copy of the Boss Baby Family Business. And I really like the first Boss Baby movie, and it's you know Alec Baldwin as the, the Boss Baby, and uh, I kind of like for some reason had forgot like what exactly had happened in the plot of the movie. I don't know why I couldn't like really totally remember everything that had happened, but basically though it was like the you know. Um, Alec Baldwin's character was like a baby that kind of ran this like, you know, baby uh, kind of universe where like ba all the babies could come from and everything. And they were all like super smart and everything. Uh, and basically, though, I, can, like I said, I can't remember. But in the new one, though, it's about the, the father who's like the, you know, the, the brother of uh, Alec Baldwin's character who was the baby in the first movie. And it's kind of like his kid now, he finds that has the ability to talk and everything like that. And this and is kind of from the Baby Inc. Corporation. And what ends up happening is they have to stop saying bad 
bad from happening. So like, you know, he has to end up being turned into a baby and Alec Baldwin's character has to get turned back into a baby again. It's kind of them going on a mission and stuff like that. I thought it was a very fun uh, movie here. Uh, has on here though, feature wise, it has a brand new original uh, short film on here. Has on here though, um, some featurettes on the movie uh, on here uh, as well. The next one here is, uh, for, these are um, from Warner Brothers. They sent our free copies of these ones. I'll let you guys know that these ones are available. And this is one, I love this one. Uh, this was such a fun movie. And it's, you know, it's, you know, it's called Scooby-Doo meets Curves of the Cowardly Dog. Uh, but it's technically, well, it's technically called Straight Out of Nowhere, Scooby-Doo meets Curls of the Cowardly Dog. But I would say this is more of a Curves of the Cowardly Dog movie than this is of Scooby-Doo. It's kind of way more, uh, you know, on the Curves of the Cowardly Dog universe than actually the Scooby-Doo universe. It's kind of like Curves of the Cowardly Dog and Scooby-Doo's in the movie. Uh, even though it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, but it was like definitely more Courage. Uh, but it is excellent. Like this was so fun. I watched uh, Curves of Cowardly Dog back in the day because I think it was like originally from like 99 to like 2000 and like two, something like that is when it was on. So it was kind of, I think it started around the same time SpongeBob started. And I remember watching it when I was like in the like late, you know, I think like late years of middle school, early high school, something like something like that watching that. But I remember really liking that show because it was really weird and kind of in the style of like Ren and Stimpy and Rug, uh, and um, you know, Ren and Stimpy and Rockles Modern Life and that kind of vibe a little bit, which I like. Uh, and like that wacky out there kind of animation. But it's basically though in this universe, in, I mean, in this movie, uh, Scooby-Doo ends up hearing this weird kind of noise and is drawn to this sound and then gets drawn to the land of, you know, nowhere, which is where Curse of Cali Dog lives. And basically at the same time, Curse of Cali Dog starts hearing this weird noise as well. And it's basically though about like, you know, Scooby-Doo and the whole gang end up in the nowhere, the land of nowhere, like I said, where Curse of the Cowardly Dog is from. There's all sorts of weird goings on there. And they have to kind of figure out what's the basis of the sound. And then there ends up being these, like, gigantic killer cicadas that are huge. Well, not really killer cicadas, but there's, like, the giant cicadas that are, like, attacking, causing all these problems. And it's basically them trying to get to the bottom of the whole thing. But it is really, really fun. Like, it is absolutely must-watching. Must watch. I saw that the creator of the show wasn't involved in, in the actual production of this, but it still has that same vibe. You know, uh, the characters all come back and everything. Uh, you know, like I said, really, really fun. It has on here, though, three bonus uh, Scooby-Doo cartoons on here as well. Uh, the next one here is from Warner Brothers as well, and they sent our free copy of this as well to let you guys know this one is available. This is the 4K Ultra HD edition, which includes the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the digital copy of the film The Shawsh uh, Shawshank Redemption, which is a great movie. Uh, it's one of those movies, too, that I kind of, like, I I remember I only saw this movie for the first time maybe like six years ago, seven years ago, something like that. And it was one of those movies that, you know, I had always heard about again and again. Everyone was saying it was such an amazing movie. And I don't know why it took me so long to watch it. And I always feel like, too, this movie is kind of, it's not, it's not per se in the same universe, but I always feel like it's kind of like, in a way, connected to the Green Mile. It just has a similar feel to it to me. But this is basically, though, all about, you know, in, in this in this prison. This prison, it's like, you know, Tim Robbins' character ends up in this prison and becomes friends with Morgan Freeman's character. And it's kind of about their friendship and what's going on there. And this prison is terrible. And it's kind of their goal is to get out of this prison and what they want to do to get away and kind of the dreams and talking about it and everything. And it's just like this terrible situation that they're going through there and the terrible violent and them trying to figure out how to fix things there. It's a whole lot of problems, but it is a great movie. Uh, it looks great here on 4K. Has on here, though, feature-wise, a uh, commentary track on here by Frank Darabont on here. Uh, in a, and um, it has on here two documentaries on the film, uh, here photo galleries, uh, storyboards on here uh, as well. Uh, the next one here is one I was one you guys know was available, and this is from uh, Warner Brothers as well. And they sent a free copy of this as well. And this is the HBO original limited series, The Mar of Easttown. And this one you know, stars uh, Kate Winslet. And this is basically, though, about Kate Winslet's character who's this, you know, detective, you know, in this town, uh, you know, it's basically, though, you know, about, you know, she's kind of like trying to get to the bottom of, you know, this, this murder that had happened. And it's kind of like in this, in this sort of small town and everything. It's one of those things, too, where it's like, you know, it's it's a, it's a totally a whodunit as well, because it's kind of like you sort of think at one point it could be this person, and it's kind of like a, l learning to, like, who the people could be involved in these murders. It's a really, really well done, very gritty the way it's done. It's in, in filmed in Pittsburgh. It has a very gritty feel to it and everything but a really really well done series here but it has on here though a bunch of different featurettes on the film like um, Invitation to Set Welcome to East Town Marv East Town A Closer Look uh, this, but a great cast in here as well this has also um, who else was in here um, uh, the one from um, 
uh, Evan, Evan Peters from American Horror Stories was on here uh, as well. This one here is an interesting movie. This is from Magnolia's Magnet Line. This is a movie here called Censor. And this one was interesting because it all deals with like um, the video, the kind of video nasties, which were the films that, they were, that came out in the UK in the 80s. And it was all kind of like... Um, the movies that like I've done, there's been a lot of documentaries on them. I've like kind of talked on a couple of different documentaries about video nasties throughout the years. But it's basically though about films that were banned in the UK. There were 80s movies and stuff like that. And they had like a lot of stuff dealing with the censorship go board going on then, and a lot of a certain selective group of films were banned. They were not allowed to be released in the UK. And this is about a woman who works on that board for like banned films and everything like that. And kind of she's in involved with like you know looking over the movies, checking them and stuff like that. And basically though something ends up happening from her watching these movies and it, it kind of unleashes something in her and it's kind of like what it ends up going to so it's it, it's it's and it's like done very throwbackish the way this movie is done it feels like a lot like a giallo film in some ways it's got like very much Dario Argento type lighting uh, really really interesting movie here it has on here though feature wise um sensor in the video nasty sound design of sensor uh design elements of sensor on here uh so like, like I said a bunch of different featurettes on the film on this one here and the next one I got here is from Kino Larber as well as Code Red and this one was so fun and I had never actually seen this movie before I had seen the uh, series before but never this film and this is a uh, puff and stuff and, you know this is you know from the world of Sid and Marty Croft and this is like this was such a fun such a crazy movie and it was like it was funny too watching this too it was making me think of uh, the show with Jim Carrey called Kidding because Kidding was definitely like it was about a kid uh, uh, his character had like a TV show and it was like a kids TV program it was very similar to like a this kind Type of show that he had but it's basically though it's sort of taking these the plot of the show and kind of redoing it they did that a lot with certain things back in the day when they would have like a tv series and they would do a movie version of it and it would basically be almost like taking the pilot of the show and then redoing it and then kind of making it bigger and kind of you know uh, adding to it and everything and that's kind of what they were doing with the the movie version of puff and stuff with this one and this is from 1970 and it's basically though about this kid who gets transported to the land of you know the puff and stuff which i think it was called, I don't remember what the actual land was, but it was because of this flute, kind of transports him to this land, and it's sort of like, there's like Witchy Poo there, who's like this bad evil witch, it was kind of like the witch in, you know, the Wizard of Oz, like that type of a witch, and she's like real wacky and over the top, and there's these crazy, insane sequences of her like riding on this weird kind of like, um, flying machine contraption thing and everything but it's like there's amazing music in here and this is from 1970 so it's like right before the wizard you know the um Willy Wonka you know the chocolate factory came out so it has that very similar sound with the music and everything in here also sounds a lot like Paul Williams kind of music in this I love this this is a really really fun movie uh, picture quality though this looks great here on blu-ray and, and feature wise this has a theatrical trailer on this one the next one here this is from Kino Lobber's um Lobber's, uh, studio classics line and this is a movie which is directed by Carl Reiner, which is one I had never seen of his. You know, and this is from 1982, and this is like I think, I think he did The Jerk in like 19 either 79 or 80, and then he did the man, the Man with Two Brains, and I don't know if that one was. That might have been after this. I can't remember if that was right. It was this right before this, or might have been like two years after this. Uh, but this is called Dead Men Don't Wear, Wear Plaid, and this has you know um, uh, Steve Martin in here, and it's a parody film on here, and it's basically though uh, you know. Um, yeah, so like I said, I don't know if it was before or not, but it was. it's basically, though, this one is like a film noir, kind of like one of those sort of police detective ones where it's like, you know, you, you hear like the inner monologue of the detective going, oh, so I decided I would go out that night, but I knew something was right. I had a sixth sense. I felt something deep down in my bones. You know, that, that kind of like narration kind of thing. I, I Every time I think of that, too, I think of in um, Stay Tuned. Uh, they had like a thing like that. And I always wonder, too, like... In my whole life, I never actually sat down and watched a movie like that. You know what I mean? Like where it was like a detective thing like that and it had like inner monologue. I've only ever seen it in like parodies and stay tuned and stuff like that. I don't think I ever literally watched a movie like that. You know what I mean? That's like a weird thing to think about, but I don't think I ever did. But this is, like I said, it's a parody of those type of ones and he's kind of like this sort of private detective, private eye who's not that bright, not that great and he just kind of goes into these situations. It's a very fun movie though. It's not as fun though as The Jerk and The Man With Two Brains, but still a very fun movie. Uh, it has on here, though, uh, feature-wise, it has a commentary track on here uh, with filmmaker Alan Arkish, as well as film historian on here, Daniel Kremer, as well as radio spots, uh, theater, uh, TV spots, and a theatrical trailer on this one. But anyway, though, guys, th that was all for the review portion of this video. Like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.